In this video, I am going to make my case as to why the Robinson R44 is the best helicopter on the market and nothing even comes close to comparing to it. There is always going to be a sexier helicopter than the Robinson R44. There's always going to be one that's more powerful, one that's more fast, one that's more exciting, and one that's cooler looking. But I think the Robinson R44 is the best and here are my reasons why. Okay, let's start at a minimum by establishing, can it do everything that other helicopters can do? Can it fly high? Yes. Can it fly fast? Also yes. Can it carry passengers? Yeah. Can it do external load operations? Yeah. Is it easy to use? Yeah, it's pretty easy to fly. Is it super expensive? No, in comparison to other helicopters, no. You see where I'm coming from? I think the Robinson R44 is kind of like the Toyota Corolla. Okay, I'm gonna give you this analogy. Imagine that you had like a 15 or 16 year old kid and the day that it comes out, I have a 16 year old kid, Lord help us. But you've got this 16 year old kid and you are teaching them how to drive. What kind of car are you gonna teach them how to drive in? Here's my case on why you should pick a Toyota Corolla to teach your kid how to drive. And I'm using this analogy in reference to a Robinson R44. 44 helicopter. Okay, the Corolla. It is simple to learn. You've got a basic steering wheel, you've got a gas pedal and a brake pedal, and that's about it. It's relatively cheap. You can pick one off the used market or even a new one for not that expensive and it's not gonna break the bank. And when your kid eventually does get their driver's license, when they're running from the cops and they slide into the back seat, whether it's leather or cloth, are you gonna be upset when they mess up the seats? Probably not, you've got bigger fish to fry. The Corolla has a great turning radius and they can park it pretty much wherever they want. Some small little parking lot, parallel parking on the street. They're not gonna be encumbered by its big size. Again, if they're at the grocery store and some cart slams into it, you're not gonna be super upset if there's a little scratch on it. And finding a mechanic is gonna be really easy. Any mechanic worth their weight can work on a Toyota Corolla. And finding parts for that Toyota Corolla is gonna be extremely easy. And because it's such a simple car, you can teach your kid how to do an oil change on it or how to change the lights on it because it's such a simple, easy design. And could they get into an accident and die? Yes, of course, it's a car. But any vehicle you throw a 16 year old in, the chances of a crash are gonna be shot up. And you could keep that car for a very long time and hand it down to your kid and they could hand it down. And when someone's ready to sell it eventually, the resale value of that car is going to be high. That car is always going to be somewhat desirable by the general public. And finally, if you look at the newer Corollas, they are very luxurious and they are very nice. Okay, I hope you stuck with me through that analogy. The point of that was the Robinson R44, no it's not super glamorous, but the thing is, it is really good at most things. Okay, same example again, it's your kid, they're 16, they can drive, but now let's compare a Ford F-350 Dually versus a Bell 407. Okay, can you learn to drive in a Ford F-350 Dually? Yes. Is it gonna be expensive? Yeah, it's gonna be very expensive. Is the insurance gonna be high? Yeah, the insurance is gonna be crazy high. Can you carry more things in it? Yeah, you can carry more stuff in it. It can go way faster, it can go way longer. It's got more power. At the end of that car's life, there is gonna be some resale value, but it's gonna depreciate a lot quicker than the Corolla. Is it gonna be safer? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but if you put a 16 year old in a Corolla and a 16 year old in a Ford F-350, the chance of them getting hurt and dying are probably equivalent. They're gonna make the same actions. The R44 is 95% capable of everything most people need it to be. It's a good helicopter to learn on. You can do almost everything you need to do with it. And maybe after you're done flying all those flashy things like the Augusta Westland 139 or the Bell 429, whatever, the flashy cool stuff, I could see myself coming back and wanting to fly the 44 just as a general generic helicopter. It does everything you need it to do and it's not nearly as expensive. And that's the reason why I made the analogy to the Toyota Corolla. Now this kind of it sounds like an advertisement for the Corolla, but that is the best selling vehicle in American history. And there's a reason why. And the Robinson R44 is the best selling helicopter in America. Both of them are really good at what they do. There's always gonna be something nicer, something bigger, something better, something faster, but they're really good. And just from experience of flying the 44, I love that helicopter. There's not too many things that you can't do with that. There's never been a time where I was like, I need something else. Sometimes it is power limited, I will say that. But besides that, it's got pretty much everything you need. And I don't want you 
you to think I'm just some shill for Robinson. I do love Robinsons and I fly them. I really enjoy the Robinson platform. But if you go check out my last video, either up here or up there, I made a video comparing the Robinson R66 and the Bell 505 and the 505 won handedly. I think it's a better helicopter than the Robinson. So I will tell you the facts and I will tell you my opinion. I think the Robinson R44 is the best helicopter on the market. I can't imagine in the next 10, 20, 30 years that Mm, that's a long time. Maybe in the next 10 years that anything will come along to replace it. If you disagree with me, I want to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments below if you think there is a better overall helicopter on the market. You know, like the, the Cabri is good, but it's just a two-seater helicopter. Same thing with the 22. A Bell 206 is pretty good. The only thing is it's it can be kind of expensive and you can get them cheaper, but they're going to be older. I think the 44 has this really unique little niche that it can fit itself into and I think it's great. So if you guys uh, disagree with me, let me know down in the comments below. If you agree, let me know. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you get all this helicopter content. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.